Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be updating our code once again to work with the latest version of 1.12, which is 2423 I believe currently, but this should work in the future with all current versions of Forge. We're going to have to go into each of our init classes and update our code. Firstly, block init is the biggest change. We're going to delete our register render and register renders function. We're going to use something new called model load. dot set custom model resource location we are going to not use this item block but we're going to do item dot get item from block block zero mess data as normal and of course new model resource location we're just going to do block dot get registry name comma inventory and that's everything now an item in it I think it will have a handle as error we'll do that in a minute get rid of my, the minecraft stuff and just do model loader dot get dot set custom model resource location item zero new model resource location item dot get rid of your name Comet inventory and that's it you can now copy this into armor and tool in it as they are identical classes I go into your handles package and registry handler and go through and move all of the item in it to register block in it to register tool in it to register armor in it to register into the common and also delete blocking it to register renders as it doesn't exist anymore. Now, once we've now we've changed our code, we can go to the Forge website. Files.minecraftforge.net and download the 2415 MDK. Extract here, copy all the files and create a new one called tutorial mod 2 we can re rename all these in a bit once has once again go to cd tutorial mod 2 and run the normal commands Now boot up Eclipse again and switch workspace to your new tutorial mod 2. You have any of your code yet. Go into MDK example and rename it to whatever you want. Delete example mod and drag it to the side. Then go into the original tutorial mod and just copy mate. Um, go into here and copy the Harry folder from source main Java or your name and change this to hierarchical again and then copy the assets folder inside of resources into your resources now booting up the game should just be a, like previous it should work just as before but now it supports the newest version of Fort. You're gonna have to create a new world and you'll still find that all your textures work, all your names work, or at least you should find this. If you have liked this video or found it useful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. If you've missed any, check the player's link out at the end of this video or in the description down below. So thanks for watching guys, my name has been Harry and goodbye. Oh, my God.